We're about to change your world. by trying with CPP Tech number 25 video 25 videos four months ago we started this channel and we're up to 25 videos and 35 subs so right now I want to take the opportunity to thank everybody who has subscribed and if you're new to the channel go ahead and press that like subscribe and check out some of my other videos including the retro builder three-part series on this today we're going to talk about these 90 degree adapters and uh, 180 degree adapters uh, this is actually the 24 pin for your your motherboard this is actually a, a, a 90 degree uh, USB 3.0 adapter um, and then you got the 180s for your your graphics card so I like these because of cable management um, if you saw the intro I kind of gave you a show of, of the Midlife Crisis and, and Gramps. I know we forgot to tell you guys what we named this, but we named this Gramps. This is the retro build that my son and I did. Um, so we're going to go to the 90 degree USB 3.0 first. Uh, if you actually take a look, there's this is what's going to go on the motherboard. There's actually these notches on here. so. You need to make sure you buy the right one because this notch is on the top and there's actually other ones the notches are on the bottom i found that the the intel motherboard is at least so far that we've we've seen like the z390 this notch is actually on the bottom and not the top and then on the amd side of things the notch is on the top and not the bottom so you got to make sure you know which one you need before you purchase it um this is actually an eight pin and on the on the gramps we've got a six pin connector it's a 1080 ti or 1050 ti it's 1050 ti and then over there on the midlife crisis it's got the 2080 ti with uh it's the msi gaming x trio which it has actually two eight pins and one six pin so what's cool about these is when you purchase them they come in twos the pin arrangement is going to be different per card so you got you know when you buy them you just got to figure out when you get it which ones which ones which um i know they come in six and eight but i, I like these and what's really cool is so like this is the 90 that's, that goes on the motherboard they're uh what was it yeah the the 24 pin and the the, the 180s they're 688 on amazon and these uh 3.0s they're uh they're 588 on amazon you gotta watch out where your motherboard is too where these are on your motherboard as, as well on the 3.0s usb 3.0s because like on the midlife crisis my holes because it's on the bottom of that x570 that i have and the holes are just a little bit off of where where this is there on the motherboard so therefore i wasn't able to use this i actually have two of them but i wasn't able to use this but luckily for me we vertical mounted this the gpu so now i can't really see anything on that on that bottom part of that motherboard um but i, I like this because of the cable management i'm i'm not a fan of wires as you can tell uh we'll put this on here so you can get kind of a a look i mean it's really really simple it snaps in 
and then this goes right on the motherboard and it's done. It's, it's pretty slick because there's hardly any wires uh, showing. We'll go over to the Midlife Crisis and get, get a closer look at that in just a second. But so this is a six pin for the for the graphics card. So all we got to do is pop that one on there. Pop it on there. And it's it. It's done. Uh, I like it. It's, it's slick and nice. So um, let's go over there real quick. It's, I'm not going to take too long over at the midlife crisis. We're just going to take another closer look at that. Uh, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, as you guys can tell, we're over here at the midlife crisis. So if you look at the, the 24 pin, see how much less wires are coming out of the, the back of that from the from the power supply? Um, I, I just think it's slick. And I, I know we've got all these other wires down here. Those are all for the the fans and the pump and the, and the uh, USB-C stuff, but... I mean, those are wires you can't you can't avoid. However, it's a lot better than having those wires coming up onto the GPU and then onto the motherboard. And when we look at it at this angle, you can see how it how it's pretty slick on there. So yeah. We like this over at CPP Tech. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna put these on the on the link below. A link for these down below for the for the 190s and the the 90 connectors for the USB 3.0 and the 24 pin. I I like it because the wires aren't showing. I don't like these wires coming up over here, coming coming down. Um, I just I just I just don't like it. So if you're like me and you're looking for a uh, another solution other than all those wires that you see coming around or what have you. Uh, throw a like on there. Tell me what you think. Um, and I tell you what, here's the deal. So if, if you decide to get these, I'm going to put my email down here as well. Send me a picture of all those. Uh, and let me see what your rigs look like with and without those on there. Um, and... I have that vertical mount. I did that Fantex vertical mount. If, if you have that Fantex vertical mount as well, send me a picture of that and I'll showcase it on the channel. So, uh, number 25. So, if you like this content, just go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate it. And uh, we, we thank you for watching very much deeply. Like I said, number 25, we're at 35 subscribers. And I thank you guys very much for that. So, uh, yeah, have a good day. Take care now. Bye.